relaxing. Mm. Nah, it's okay. Not really. Mm, okay. As long as I get back on time. Mm, some of us do 9 to 5, remember? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll just get ready. Alright, see you. Bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know you're like an open book, right? What do you mean? I mean, I can easily tell when you like a guy. Oh, please, Daya. Joe is just a friend. Joe is just a friend. Of course, Joe is just a friend. I mean, minutes after picking his call, you are still grinning like a cat who just discovered milk. Dear Tayo, mm -hmm. you need Jesus. Oh. And you need to relax. And things like this. Calm down. Calm down. I'm and you. listen to the Shh. love doctor. Uh huh, uh huh. So, what about me? I'm an open book too. Well, you're a wasp, but I like it. How? Okay, I'm not supposed to talk about things like this with you because you're still a little girl, like a baby sister, you know, but um, let me indulge you. <laughs> When I say you're worse, I mean, I can easily tell. When you like a guy, you suddenly become very nice and respectful. Mm -mm, that's not true. I've always been nice and respectful. Mm. Mm. So why did you ask me? Mm. Don't even answer that. Just be my face, please. Go back to your food or do something. Ugh. Yes, so Arsenal just called. We need to see the way Sanchez beat the defenders and keeper. Pure, pure, hey. pure magic. Hey. <laughs> Where go? Hmm? Auntie Bumi, since when did you start watching football? That's the gonna be right there. <laughs> gonna for life. <laughs> hmm. Good decision. Wait, yes. I, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, Dad. Do I get you that thing? Yes, that thing. From a rival, not a, not a pass from the rival is offside. Hey. hey! Since when did you become a football fan? Well, you know, a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do, sis. And what's that supposed to mean? And what's that supposed to mean, sis? Um, you know, I said the way you go all sweet and that little voice of yours when you want to collect something from daddy. And I discovered football box faster. Beko, break it down. 
So you mean if you act like you like, no, 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 if you pretend to be a football fan, that will give you everything you want? Trust me, sis. Hey. Did I miss anything? No, Dad. They're just in the midfield. Okay. Here. Ah. I had it 2000 for transport. Ah, Daddy, thank you. <laughs> anything for it. Gonna be. <laughs> See? Got up alive. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, Two <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Second goal! Hey! Daddy gone out for life! My best! What down on lady? Time is on the side of Chelsea for playing. Pretty poorly, pretty shovelly, shovelly at football. People are still on this football issue. Chelsea get slightly more confident. Beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. God, that's for life! And when things like that happen, Michael, when goals are not given correctly... It's Chelsea and Mike you play. So, what's the difference? <laughs> you just said God, that's for life. That's for us now. He's got away from Timmershaw. Yeah. Well, a shot out of nothing. Yeah, he's oh. a goal that was don't go and read your books. Yeah, cramming football. Got away from William Gallas and thump one in from Good evening, Dad. Plus. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm fine. You're good, right? Yes, sir. Welcome. Hi. Dad. Hmm? Dad. Hmm? Please, can I speak with you? Now? Yes. Chelsea riding their luck. Mm. All right, Dad. Wins the throw. Hi, welcome. No, don't think the ball came out of the area. You, Mum. Yeah, Shelton Connors, yeah? Me. This had better be good because you just dragged me away from a Chelsea man you match. Yes, Dad. It is. Um, Vivian just got dumped by her boyfriend and she was staying at his place. So I, I just wanted to ask if, if she could stay here just for a few days and she'll go back to Ibadan. Please. Okay. But that's a bit of emotional blackmail. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't tell me before you asked her to come over. I, I called you. I called you a couple of times. But your phone just kept ringing. You didn't pick. You did? Yes, I did. Oh, sorry. It was the match. See you later. Thank you, Dad. Morning, sir. Oh, morning, Vivian. Hope you had a good night rest. Oh, yes, I did, son. Thank you very much for letting me stay here. Oh. Meet my friend Kule. Yes. And Kule, that's Vivian, Shadi's friend. Okay. Okay. I'm so glad to make your acquaintance. Yes. Sir. And um, Vivian, whenever you find yourself in the UK, you can stay with his wife and three children. The oldest should be around your age. Oh, thank you very much, sir. That yeah. would be really, really nice. Yes. Thank yes. you. I'm sorry if you'd excuse me. I need to do something. Oh, okay. How about Mr. Fujaram? Say what? 
Mr. Fuja, the one that wants to sell the land in a papa. I don't think I know what you're talking about. Because I'm too old and I have grown up children, so I, my memory is too bad. Agbayania. You. Agbaya. See, I've just started with you. See, I'm old, Abby. I'm on way. What? I'm on way. Shut up. Don't say, don't say it again. Abby is Fuja, Abby. You will see Lisa Abby very soon. I'm good, and you? Nothing much. I'm just chilling at home with my friend. Oh yeah, she's um she's staying with me for a couple of days. Oh, I would have loved to, but you know, I just got back from work and um I wouldn't want to leave her alone again. Except you don't mind me coming with her. Really? Oh, you're such a darling. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, we'll be ready in about an hour. Okay, okay, cool. All right. See you then. Bye. Vivian, okay. let's go get dressed. We're going out. Nah, you go alone. I'm not in the mood for socializing. Okay. What? You, my friend, are coming with me, okay? Look, even if I have to drag you there, you're going with me. No, no. See, I'm not good company right now, so don't start complaining later. Yeah, I know. Can we go now, please? I don't see you. Oh, yeah, get up. Don't make me wait. You know I don't like to wait. Let's go. Wow, I had such an amazing time yesterday. I'm glad you did. <laughs> and to think that I felt I was going to be morose all night. Yeah, I remember all your protests. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to go. I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and thanks to your boyfriend, man, I had an amazing, incredible time, man. <laughs> Vivian, what? it's not my boyfriend, though. Mm. Just my friend. Are you sure? Hmm. I saw the way you were looking at him. Oh. Hmm. It's your boyfriend. Vivian, mm. you know what? I think you and Tayo suffer from delusions. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But the guy is a correct guy, Sha. Ah. <laughs> He's your boyfriend. Noted. Now, let me go and check what I put on the fire before it turns to burnt offering. Okay. Well, mm. He's your friend, Abby. My friend. Okay, well, I hear you. Man, this Photoshop thing will not allow one to know who really is finding him out. So you wait till you see the person in real life before you sum them up. Mm. Mm. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. Um, I'm going out. My friend is taking me out for lunch. Okay, then. Have a nice time. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Bye, sir. Bye. So, boy, I will never forgive you for this. What? See what you made me miss. Forget it, Kunle. Let her date her mate. Oh, look at you. I'm sure the person she's going to meet is around our age. I don't know girls of nowadays. They care not. I know my daughters care about such things. And I know there are some like my daughters out there. Besides, she's Shadi's friend. How do you expect her to feel if she knows you're going out with a friend? Very easy. It will only make us one big family. You are just a goat. A goat? A he goat. <laughs> a he goat, I like that. <laughs> oh, God. Where's everyone else? I don't know. Okay. Mimi's not back from school yet. 
Dad is in his room and Vivian is talking to man. Man. As in man man. Man man man. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> but wait to tell you. How do you even know that she's talking to man? How can you be asking a love doctor if she knows that someone is in love? Eh? Of course I know when a girl is talking to a man she likes. Tayo, hey, you've come again with your psychoanalysis. Anyway, if indeed she's talking to man, like you said, I'll be happy for her now. She's my friend. Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> So how's Joe? Ugh, I don't know. I haven't spoken to him since the last time we went out. In fact, I don't even care. He should enjoy his life, Joe. Oh, Shadi, how are you doing? Uh, uh, Vivi, are you going out? Yeah, just for a drink with a friend. I'll be back in a bit. Like, Vivi. <laughs> what? Well, it's just a drink uh, now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, see, once you come back, you must give me gist. Uh, must. You know I'll give you gist though. Okay. <laughs> Alright, All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye, Bye. Bye. Yeah. Why are you so happy that someone is going on a date? Please, let me be happy. She's my friend. Mm. And try and be nice for once in your life. Anyway, is there food? No, I'm sure there's no food. Don't worry. Wait, do I look like your house here? Maria, Maria! <laughs> What's up? Good evening. What's up? I'm Greg. How's good today? Ah, oh, high tech. You're back. Uh-uh. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I thought you went out with Aunt Vivian and Uncle Joe. What are you talking about? When I was coming back from school, I saw Aunt Vivian and Uncle Joe in the car. And Uncle Joe was driving. Continue. Ha! Now we know why. Now we know why Joe has not been replying your message. Sayo, please just shut up. I don't have time for your rubbish, I beg. Oh, oh. I will be on this couch when part two will happen. On this TV for me. What's happening, Joe? Now what for you? Ah, G. Okay. Oh, friends, oh, friends. <laughs> you see why I don't keep friends? Oh, friends. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, Technically, she hasn't really done anything wrong. You know, I told her I wasn't interested in him, so... But still, she should have left him alone. I mean, that is so wrong. I think Shadi is right. We shouldn't persecute Vivian now. So why was she hiding it away from you? I think she took advantage of the whole situation. She knew Shade liked the guy and took advantage of the fact that Shade acted like she didn't like the guy. Now even through that, she still felt guilty. Hence the pretense. Shade should have told her about her position concerning the guy. More importantly, a good friend and a true friend would not date someone she meets through you without asking you. When next you want to make the list of your friends, you shouldn't be in a hurry to put her on it. Besides, the guy acted irresponsibly. But you will be fine. You will be fine. I am fine, Dad. Okay. Uh, I think I need to leave you girls. 
Alright, see you guys later. Alright, Daddy, good night. Good night. Mm-hmm. Chief, I told you not to bring that friend to this house. You said I don't like your friends, Abby. Really? Mm -hmm. Tire. <sighs> I mean, the last one you brought last year was touching you in the night. This one has come and she has snatched your boyfriend. Boyfriend snatcher. The next one might just be a banjo. Tire. Don't you think it's too early to make a joke out of this? Chakam. Oh.